We keep winning die rolls, so at least our luck there is good. Um, Island, Vault, Vile, and a nice curve. Yeah, we'll keep this. Um, and nice, this Harbinger will tell us to keep Vile on two. So we're gonna mute a Vault. Aether Vile. So we're playing against PZ619, which is blue-red. <laughs> Not our favorite colors tonight. Yes. All right, so we drew another island. That's good at this point, because then we can play our lords and such. All right, so we're attacking with Muta Vault, since we, you know, we need a double blue. So that's why we played Muta Vault first, so that we could attack with it this turn. And if they are Twin or Delver or Grixis something, the faster we are, the better. Um, the Delver at our, met our FNM meta is Grixis, both of them. But the one is, the one guy who's playing it is really disappointed in Grixis Delver and is wanting to try out some other decks. I think he's going to... He doesn't have Snapcasters, which is really the reason that he hates it. But he hasn't realized that yet. And he doesn't want to drop the money for Snaps, which I don't blame him on. And that sucks. But it's like we were on the draw instead of the play. Minus card. And nothing to Violin, so it's their turn. How is Grixis Delver good against Chalice? Cold oh, yeah, I guess Cold Guns Command. But they have to get that one card. And if I get a second Chalice out on two, as long as I've got my Caverns and my Vials, then I'm set. All right, Insta, yes, our turn. So, yes, we want to use this. So we're looking at um, likely Jeskai Control. All right, so we drew a Spreading Seas. I think we're going to play Spreading Seas and Violin Lord of Atlantis on their instep. All right, is blue or white more dangerous? Uh, white means path, blue means counter Right, white means path, blue means counter. I think I'm going to do white. Wrath is also. Yeah, white is wrath. So, yeah, I'm going to do white. Sacred Foundry. Oh, yeah. So if I did the other one, he'd still have all three colors. This way, he does not have all three colors. What are you drinking? Oh, I am drinking what, um, I think Lost Man suggested it. I'm not 100% sure. But it is the local Shafley brew, um, the Coffee Stout. It's actually quite delicious. I'd never had it before, um, and I'm really enjoying it. So it's, it's pretty... It's pretty delicious, and it's nice and dark and delicious. Because beer, those light, fluffy beers with little flavor are stupid. At least that's my opinion. All right, so on their instep, we're going to Violin Lord. So I'm going to hold this pin so that I don't forget. That was my instep. <laughs> their instep. This is what this trigger is. Instep. Okay. Aether Vile. In paper, I actually hold a die in my hand, which is probably, for people who know me, that's probably a really bad tell that I'm giving. I I forget to do Aether Vial every time. An Arid Mesa. Those are expensive, aren't they? It's like 70 bucks or something. I don't know, I'm curious now. All right, so they're still doing stuff on their instep. Three portraits chat. Portraits chat. T N N. Um. Without chalice, you you need a chalice. I mean. 
Oh, cavern. Yeah, if you can lend me what I need, I will try. I don't know any of the decks in Legacy Merfolk, or in Legacy, and I just know that it's really fast and they like to hit lands and stuff, so that would be very interesting and I would be, I would be up for that. Uh, we'll keep this on two. All right, so here, I guess I'm gonna play my Harbinger and then Phantasmal. I just need the power on the field. They're not doing anything other than getting rid of my stuff because they're control. Because they're control so. Right, so I don't want a Phantasmal while he has mana to counter it. Or... Yeah, so I could do it now. Alright, so we're going to do this. Harbinger. Uh, Nanaki90, thank you for following. Oh, yeah, and Wastelands. Yeah, I mean, there's a pretty big jet gap between Modern and um, Legacy Merfolk. And there's also the fact that I don't have everything that I would want in Modern in this Smurfolk deck. Uh, so copying Harbinger. Alright, so we're going to... Whoa, what are they doing? Vendillion click now? Oh, they want to look at my hand on my draw step after I've drawn to get rid of something. Alright, so y'all are talking... Yeah, what are you taking? I'm behind in chat again, sorry guys. Scroll up. Okay. Alright, so this is my main fix, I got a second. Ah, okay, I know it's my priority. Alright, so this is a 3 1, so it will kill anything that I put, that I attack with. But we will trade. Do I trade with the big click and hit with the other one? I think so. Yeah. Because I need Rejury Master Ways to survive. What? Oh, you want to show off our binder? Just, just this page. Just our, our legacy page. Well, I'm on my priority. Give me a sec. And I'm behind in, in chat. Aha! Alright, go ahead. This is terrible and hard to see. Well, I can't see it all, so... We can try to do it better between games. Alright, so he is blocking the real one. Because it's easier to kill the phantasmal one. Alright, so this time we... Violent Silvergale, hope to draw land. And then play Ragery, which I should have done ma first main, but I screwed up. I mean, that happens. I'm not the, the tightest player. I'm not... Um, I make quite a few mistakes especially when I'm when I'm getting tired and it's late um, I did not draw another land I can't play Rejury oh yes Freddy Seas can try which one's the man land this one right mm -hmm. yep 
No creature lands for you. All right, so we got our land for this time. So now we're holding up Spell Pierce. We can try to protect the guys on our be our board. Uh, yeah, but I think the man land's more dangerous. Especially since he can use the blue that we give him to animate the land. Ooh, straight to his instep. Alright. Alright, I could roll this up to three and then four with the Reedry and the Master Rays in my hand. Since I can afford with my lands to play a two drop that I draw. So I think I will actually do that. And that also lets me hold up Spell Pierce. Or I can do both this turn. So, let's do Reedry first. So we get that Devotion and we get the untapped trigger for Spell Pierce. Okay. Four Master of Waves, Reedry trigger, untap an island. We're going to try to spell pierce. He probably has a wrath that we're playing right into, but we're going to try to spell pierce it. Mana leak. Oh, that's counter target spell unless its controller pays three. Ta yeah, tapping out was bad. That was that was bad. Yeah, I forget that I'm tapping out when I'm using the ragery trigger because. I know that I'm going to have mana again. I forget that it's going to be down for, you know, a split of a turn. So I'm not able to pay three. Yes, I'll still untap that. And so that, that was kind of a blowout. That really hurt. But we can go ahead and attack for six here. That gives us three turns. Actually, two turns, because next time I can hit for eight. Oh, only eight. So, three turns still, I guess. They have a fetch on the field if they use it. Now it's a one turn clock. Uh, He's right, Supreme Bird can't be countered. We are trying to build Legacy Merfolk because we already have the Merfolk and we like the way it plays, so. He was watching me play all this all the time on stream, and he fell in love with Merfolk. So he's ditching Tron hey, for the. I not ditching Tron. I had a lover. He's not ditching Tron. He has a second lover. Love. You said lover. I think you said lover. I um, <laughs> You know, I mean, if he's got you know second and a third lover, nah, whatever. It's just, magic. it's just magic. I think I'll. I think I will win over a magic deck, probably. I hope. Yeah, no Supreme Verdict is very good for us. Um, Sig will let us draw a card if we fail. Um, first, yeah, we're going to attack first because Sig just has to be on the field before the instep. This way, if he tries to board wipe, we still get Sig later. So Snapcaster into a Bolt, and he'll block, and he'll do pretty good damage right that way. Bolt the Regery, block the Silvergill. Or the Harbinger, either one. He did the Helix. I mean, yeah, if he can afford the Helix, it's much better than Bolt. Okay, that was really bad. Uh, I'm still gonna play Sig just to get another butt on the field. I only still have Spell Pierce mana up. I feel like I've said that before. Hmm. Deja vu, I guess. He knows about Vapor Snag. Virgo.
Nope. Ooh, that's handy. Alright, so I left file on three and I managed to draw Redry. Uh, so we'll wait until after blocks so he can't... Huh? The block phase, yeah. Okay, what you gonna do? Resto Angel? Um, flash Flying 3-4 when there's the battlefield. Exile non-angel creature you control. Then return that card to the battlefield under your control. So he's just playing it as a flash blocker. He will, yeah, he won't eat, eat Sig if I read jury. Okay, still attacker step. Okay, so uh, you say I should not? Oh, yeah, I guess it's only one point of damage, and I have his entire turn untapped when I could just wait. I think it's worth waiting. This has not been going well for me. Second main, so we're waiting, so pass the turn. In step. Oh, this is from when we signed our, our title on our house. Yeah, that's what this pin is. Most of our pins are swiped company pins from things we've done. Huh? Gifted. gifted. I suppose they're gifted. This one was. So this is when I file. Yes. Regery. Probably. No, he's up for three. That's not electrolyzed. Oh, yeah, this. So, two on Rejury. I could spell pierce it, but he could pay for it. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, it just sucks. I. Whatever. These guys have been doing really well. I don't know if I've been drawing badly or if my couple little mistakes have been really bad that's true against control mistakes compound they get a lot worse they I've been playing mostly control because of Bogle she's too fast alright so we'll spreading seas we're going to get rid of we already got rid of colonnade um, he's got two red here or we could do this and completely cut him off white until he fetches. You're gonna cut him off white or red until he fetches. I like that better. I'm not. There's two steam vents. Oh, there's two? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're gonna do the hollow fountain. And hopefully we'll draw a lord or something to help protect Sig against a bolt. Phantasmal image. And we can't use... Oh, we could use that on the resto angel. Get our own 3-4 flyer. And we... There's no need for us to <laughs> flicker SIG. Is that a good idea now? They're a resto angel. 3-4 oh, flyer. Because I don't have any lords. Have I have a violin 3. I'm not sure what I should do. Hmm. Alright, so Ovanyu is voting Resto, so let's go get a Resto Angel. Yeah, they sit there and bounce off each other all day, so... 
No, I don't want to use its ability. There's no reason to flicker sig. So now there's no reason to attack with sig, so you just die. And I pass off the turn. Yeah, they didn't have cryptic command. Man up, I mean. Pretty planes. Another one? He could just infinitely flicker each one, couldn't he? No, it says non-angel. Oh, really? It does say non-angel. Oh, they probably are running Kiki Jiki. Well, I've never had that happen against me, so it would be a first time experience. It's basically twin. I mean, yeah, it's basically Splinter Twin, but more complicated. So he's electrolyzing my fake resto angel. Because he just has a target. Yep. Wow. So he just has a target. Yeah. Well, Phantasmal Image is bad against anything. But two sure. Right. And so, yeah, he's saying it, that's terrible and stuff. Yeah, it is. I got that. Unblockable three damage, and he's keeping this up so I don't attack him with Sig. An Island Walk Lord may still win us the game. Curse Catcher's not gonna do it. We're gonna play him anyway. This is still game one. Man control takes forever. Oh, hey Des or Durza. Sorry, I'm distracted by the game. <laughs> I do try to go back and read the comments. I've been trying to read. You guys are talking about building legacy and the F4 while I talk. I'm not even, it's like 20 things to do at once. All right, but you guys have been talking about like buying into legacy and all that sort of stuff. So I've been at least vaguely paying attention. Sorry. Um, but I'm glad that you're all here. <laughs> I really am. Oh, and party hat. That's totally gonna snap my face. Oh my goodness. I am starting to get tired. It is 9.30, it's when I normally start getting tired. Nope. And I'm saying no here because I'm more likely to draw a three drop than two drop, or than a four drop at this point. Uh, actually, I think it's even now. But I, can, I can't go back down. If I draw a four, I can still play that too. I mean, attacking one would get eaten, and I'd only get one point of damage in. So I just have to let him keep hitting me from above. So we're at 388 followers. So I, too bad this doesn't auto update like my follower count does. But yay! Okay, so it's our turn. But I'm here celebrating all of you guys because I hit a big milestone, at least I thought it was, and now I skyrocketed past it, but it's still a good milestone. I really am happy that I've managed to, you know, succeed enough and have enough people enjoy watching me stream, which I never would have dreamed of a couple months ago. Hmm? Oh, cheers, Nick! And Des Durza, thanks for following me. Cheers. Oh. 
Ugh, I can't even cast it. I mean, I could hard cast it the hard way. Five mana. It's worth it. I need that card. Yeah, I can't attack this time, can I? You? Control Z? Well, that's how everyone does it so fast. That had been handy to know before. Alright, so it's attack. Oh yeah, you started watching because it said Merfolk? I mean, Merfolk's the best, so of course that's why you started watching. I mean, obviously. A third one? Well... Ugh. Whatever. Fine. You win this freaking game. Save lethal next turn. I can't do anything about it. If I draw a card, I would have gotten the Lord. Still not fast enough anymore. It would have been a turn ago or two turns ago. So that was a game one. So we want Tech Edge. Vile's bad. They weren't the counterspell kind of control. Um, just kind of flash, really. Sig is coming out. Snag, because they're... Well, those Resto Angels. I don't want... I guess, yeah. I don't want to use them again. So, um, not Snag. Spell Pierce come in. Swan Song. It's not a control... I mean, it's not a combo deck. So spell or Swan Song's not really where I'm wanting to be. Dismember, then, perhaps? Or um, Monastery Siege. It's one or the other. Dismember or Monastery Siege at this point. Solana? I've got two cards. And each of them are two of a kind. Yeah, how many you see? Only we only, I think we only saw Restos. Monastery Siege, he keeps yeah, he keeps targeting me, so... He keeps... Yeah, so since he's targeting me, I think Monastery Siege is what we want. Alright, so I two islands, tech edge. Yes, yeah, this, this is okay. We'll keep this. So turn one, island, turn two, lord. You seeded a cat? Yeah, there is totally a cat. His name is Christopher Robin, and he is a love bug who does not like being thrown around. Come on. Hi! Love bug! You made my hat fall off. Go on. Okay. F. Alright. Um. Island. Lord. Now it's their turn. My hat fell off again. My kitty cat stole it. Yes, I like it there. It looks less like a dunce cap when it's off to the side. <sighs> He's telling me I need to speed up, which is true. So now we can master waves to get two bodies on the field. And especially since we have two of them, we can do that again next turn. And they get very powerful. And I can keep Spell Pierce's backup, which is great. <laughs> yeah, they could Tech Edge my Tech Edge. That'd be silly, but, I mean, they could do it. Okay, so... We could Master of Waves again, or we could Rejury and Harbinger. Or we could hold up Tech Edge and play one of them. 
I think I'll look Rager in Harbinger too. No, I won't. I'll keep up 12 years mana. And I get to untap with Harbinger. I mean, it'll untap on their untap step. Yeah, I guess it makes their tech edge now or never. Which one? That one. Mana link. Shoot! I could have spell pierced. What? I mean, now it's too late. That's why I had spell pierced back up. Yes, I know. Oh well. Where are you going? Oh, punt? Thanks. Oh, oh, we spell pierce that. Oh, yeah. I'm getting really tired already, guys. This sucks. <laughs> Four and a half hours. I'm going to make it. There's just going to be caffeine involved. And there's some in this fridge in reach right now. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we can still tech edge. His colonnade, yeah. Um. So we at least managed to kill some of their mana. Oh, my beer's empty. Hmm? Could be Supreme Verdict, yep. Likely. Yep. If we still had our tech edge, we could have done it both this turn. But that's okay. We got rid of his colonnade, which is really important. That's true. I did make him fetch into a shock just a supreme verdict, which is pretty good. I mean, that's three damage that we made him take. I'm sorry? My chat locked up? I don't know that coffee stout actually has any coffee in it. Oh, crap! I'm tired, and I hit the button before I Master of Waved. Oh, oh well. You're all missing out on one damage. I'm missing out on, yeah, only on one damage. That's true. But maybe I won't have them all wiped? No. But why'd you attack with Master of Waves? He's just Dice Flash. I know. I'm just tired. I'm sorry. This is like 12 punts in a row. I think I might need to switch games for a little bit after this. What are you doing? To, uh, oh my god, that was really scary, because all of a sudden there's a hand in my... I'm waiting to six Actually, Spreading Seas, and we might draw... Spreading Seas red white. Yes, this red-white here. And we might draw another land we could play. Or a tech edge to destroy something? The white blue. Probably the white blue. Get rid of his w white. Copy his, copy his I'm 
I'm sorry. Why are you upset? I know. I. What? The clock does hate me. I mean, it didn't matter. We weren't attacking this turn anyway. So we got a pair of three threes. Hmm? Yeah, it is a two turn clock. We might be able to do this. It's a faster clock than he's got and he's attacking me, so. I do have iron locks, so that's why. I mean, even if I beat the clock, I still lose, because this is game two. What? He's helped me out with the, like, when to hit F4 and F6, so I'm keeping this ear off. A minute and 40 seconds? I've done three minute games. I don't know about a minute and 40 seconds. I just set guys. All right, so um, Carrick, or Mr. Mulligan, or whatever, has offered to pilot this last game so that we're quick as fuck was his terms, or fast as fuck was his term, I think. Um, Y'all are cool with that? Because I don't feel comfortable with a minute and 40 seconds, and I don't want to get too stressed out on camera or anything. It's not worth it. It's just a game. So what do you think? Waiting for answers. Do, 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 do. Thanks. It's my celebrating 250 followers, aka 384 followers hat. See, it even says 250. I'm super excited. So we're celebrating. I'm celebrating with an eight-hour stream, which is my first like super long stream, and it's really exciting. And I'm probably doing another one at a thousand followers. Okay. And Portrait says let him play. So. You wanna be on camera, or you wanna just do it off from the side? I'll try. He's gonna do it. All right, so you guys get a couple minutes of Mr. Mulligan. I'm super, super shy. He's nervous, but it'll be okay. Uh, you can keep the hat. Thank you. <laughs> so I've never been on stream before, and I've never played Merfolk online before but I've played it in paper, and I've played other decks online. Uh, this looks fast enough, let's keep it. Hello, Nick. I have to wear the hat, they say. Apparently, oh, you're supposed to give me the hat. hat. Apparently. I'm gonna wait until it's not his turn. Why 
is the reveal second? That's annoying. Again, sure. I'm not playing the best game, I'm trying to play the fastest game to clarify. Yes, I try to respond. Uh, I could have f four grizzly bears. Um, kind of like Curse Catcher and Siege better, though, because he keeps killing my crap and I don't have time to kill crap. Which one's the target one? Dragons. Dragons. Go. Maelstrom Pulse. Wrong deck. Go. F6. I don't care. Oh, wait, no, don't F6. I have Curse Catcher. And he can pay for it. Also, that's Resto Angel Fine. Sure, go. Yes. The cat's name is Christopher Robin. All right, we're gonna get double Resto Angel next turn, and we can flicker our own Harbinger. Oh, never mind. That's the combo. Okay. Well, we did finish the game before your clock ran out. Thank you. <laughs> Hot chaos. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm back. So, that's, um, Carrick, blow my life. I love him so much. Mwah. <laughs> Um, and we're watching Infinite Resto Angels, which is just ridiculous. They have time to complete the combo, so I'm going to make them. Just for shits and giggles. Ha <laughs> ha! A win would have been crazy epic. We're going to have two Restos next turn. Yeah, but now they're going to have 20 Restos this turn. <laughs> instead of two. You guessed wrong. <laughs> he is a very lucky man. That is true. <laughs> You're not on camera. He's giving us a thumbs up, but he was... Yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, you didn't have six. You just hit F4. I did have six. Oh, yeah, blocks for our six. Hey, over. You got so, the league's over, and we got 20 points out of our 80. So, I mean, you know, we won one game. That's not bad. I mean... It's enough for a two-man. Yeah. It's enough to play two-man, and... Whatever. Not that big of a deal. Oh!